So good day everyone. Uh, I'm Lauren from uh, kind of northwestern Canada. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a show of the, uh, the collection of Yamahas I have. Um, I kind of had got a love for them back in the uh, in the late uh, 70s. Uh, when I was younger, and uh, so anyway, starting with this, uh, one of the very earliest Yamahas uh, ever made, and this here is just kind of an example of 50 years later. That's the 50th anniversary. So that's the transition period in 50 years, which is a big jump. Um, but we'll go kind of down this road here. Um, we've got. Uh, from 71, it just continues up. Some of the, they're just the trail machines. Um, great, great old sled, very dependable. Um, had the privilege of collecting them over many miles uh, throughout Canada and the United States, mostly the States, but uh, thanks to my American friends that gave them up. Um, right up to the uh, 77, 78, 79 Exciters, great trail machines. Um, <clears throat> they were some of my early riders. I never got into the race scene, but uh, that's why I have so many trail machines. We're going to go through the middle aisle after. Of course, everybody, everybody and their kid have one of these, the, the little enticers, the 340 enticers. Um, first year for the long track enticer, very fortunate to get that machine. You just don't find them anymore. Yamaha for four years made this cool little inviter from 87 to 89, it's an 87, 89. Uh, fun little machine the girls enjoy riding. Um, right up to uh, the, the early 90s, which of course my kids started on, and uh, uh, the subsiders, the phasers, uh, first year for the VMAX 4. And then down this line here is, uh, some of the performance sleds that I really appreciated when I was a young guy, the SRVs. First year, 1980, 81, 82, 83. They built them for a number of years and a 540 fan in them. This was my first year, 1982. Loved it. Had some crazy experiences on it. Um, so now what we're going to do is go into these special ones that are in this loop here, which are every year. I'm blessed to have Right from 1971, first year, Yamaha won the world championship on this SR433, not this particular one, but it's a, it's a matching uh, machine. Um, they won the world championship in Eagle River against the 800 class. So uh, pretty impressive. And uh, if you're a Yamaha fine, uh, fan, that's a bragging rights. And uh, anyway, so that's a 71 SR433. The set, uh, 72 SR643, I believe it was the first year for them. The story to, they started in 70, 71 as well. 73 was, they went to a little different style. And then they went to the famous GPXs in 74 and 75. Free air still, right up to the 75. Now in 76, they went to the liquid cooled. SRXs. This particular one is a Canadian version with the black hood. This is the American version. Uh, one's 340, one's 440. They made both models. Then we move over to 70. We're going to jump right over to 77, which is still an SRX. Talk about that one later. Um, this was one I loved when I was a kid. You know, just you'd go in and drool about it. You could never afford it, but. Uh, very light machine, very popular race sled drag racer. Uh, lots of lots of horsepower. I believe it's around 105, 110, something like that from the factory. 78, 79, they kept the same style right through 1980. And everybody kind of likes the pretty colors of this one. Then in 81, they changed the style. They went to a hidden headlight, uh, different, they got the polo sticks. Um, that's the 440. Then in 82, this is a very special machine and I will share the story later with you. This one is uh, a 500cc which got taken off the, uh, the scene there because of some problems uh, with the engine, but we'll share that after. Then in, eight, in 83, they made the first year V 
VMAX 540 liquid cooled engine. Um, I was able to buy an 84 the next year, the second year they came out. I loved the machine, very powerful. They made this machine for approximately, I think, eight or nine years before they went into the new generation uh, VMAXs. So uh, that's kind of a rundown of uh, my, my Yamaha collection. And uh, um, there's one more. Oh, okay, I'm gonna just show you up here. There's a couple of the, the famous SS 440s. That was the last year they made them, 85. This is the first year, 1988. This one here is a special little machine. My grandson, we made it for him in tribute to his mom. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little Yamaha, we'll say. <laughs> it's been modified, but uh, yeah, that's my uh, my kind of story on my Yamahas. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome.